In this lesson, we're going to finish up some terminology that we need to know before we can get into learning about the trigonometric functions. So right off the bat here, we look at an angle again, and we remember that an angle is formed by rotating about a fixed point. So we have two rays, we're going to rotate, and we can rotate from the bottom to the top, and that gives us a positive angle. So from our initial ray to our terminal going up, positive. From our initial ray or initial side, if we go down or counterclockwise here, we get a negative angle. So we can have negative or positive angles, and it depends on the direction of rotation. The initial side is the starting position or initial position, and the end position is the terminal side. Angles that have the same initial and terminal sides, so start and finish in the same place, are said to be coterminal. So coterminal means they start and end in the same place. So an example of that would be something like 30 and 390 degrees. So what do we mean start and end in the same place? Well, if we look at coordinate axes here, so we have quadrants, if we start from here and go up to 30, it looks like that. Well, if we start here, when we're talking about this as our angle, and we want to make a 390 degree angle, well, we have to go all the way back here. A full rotation gives us 360 plus 30 is 390. So we started from the x-axis, we finished on this line both times, so 30 and 390 are called coterminal. And the way to find those is simply by adding or subtracting multiples of 360. So we can add 360, we can add 2 times 360, 3 times 360, or subtract the same way. Because don't forget, 360 is just doing one extra full rotation, bringing you back to the same spot. So in example 1 and 2, we're going to find some coterminal angles. So determine the value of two angles that are coterminal with this. So we can add 360 and find that that gives us 410. Or we can subtract 360, and that would give us 310, negative 310. So that's 50 minus. And those two angles, then, are both coterminal with 50. So we'll sketch this one just so you see it. We won't sketch the rest. Here's 50. And if we want to sketch now, change color. Negative 310 means starting here and going back until we get to 310. I know that's 310 because 310, if we add 50 more, which we have here, would give us a full rotation of 360. So that's negative 310. And if we do one more, we can start here, go 50, and go all the way back around. So 50 plus 360 brought us to that same point here. So that's 410 in green. So all three of those start on the x-axis right here and finish at the terminal side right there. So they're all coterminal. And that's what that means. So let's do the rest of these then. We're simply going to add 360 here and get four, 500, excuse me, and 10. And we can add 360 again if we want, or we can take the 150 and subtract 360, and that'll give you negative 210, and they're all degrees. We have an angle of negative 320, well, if we want two coterminal, we can add 360 and get 40 degrees, or we can subtract 360 and get negative 680 degrees. So the last one then, Determine one positive and one negative coterminal for each, coterminal angle for each. So we're going to do the same thing, plus 360, minus 360. And that gives us 405 and negative 315. So those angles are all coterminal. And negative 150, well, same thing. Add 360, subtract 360, and we get 210 and negative 510. And so those angles are all coterminal. We'll stop that lesson there. 
and we'll see you in the next lesson where we're going to start talking about converting angles to different measures.